हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्लासेस टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रेशर मेजरमेंट गेजेस दिस गेजेस विल मेजर द और फाइंड द प्रेशर वैल्यू इन द फ्लूड और लिक्विड ओके इनसाइड ए ट्यूब और इनसाइड ए टैंक लाइक दैट एंड नाउ हियर वी आर यूजिंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ गेजेस वन इज मैनोमीटर्स वी आर यूजिंग दिस मैनोमीटर्स इन लैब्स एंड इन मैकेनिकल गेज एंड सेकेंड वन इज मैकेनिकल गेजेस Again, manometers are dividing into five parts. Let us see: piezometer, simple manometer, differential manometer, inverted differential manometers, and micrometers. First two, these two are using for finding the p-value at one point in the flowing flow, or at static flow also. Let us assume water or fluid or gas is moving like this. If you want to measure at one point. at a point we need to measure the p value we are using these two type piezometers and simple manometers we can find pa by connecting these instruments okay or these gauges pa we can find inside the flowing fluid or static fluid and these three remaining three we are using for finding the pressure pressure difference at input and output two points we can find the difference of pressure let us assume uh, here one pipe i am taking again we are i am connecting one flow meter which will find how much discharge of water is taking place this is input a and this is output b we can find the pressure between input and output difference between input and output okay pa minus pb means difference in pressure value we can find by using the three instruments okay next three today i will discuss about piezometers and simple manometers and in next video i will explain these three in today's class we will see piezometers take piezometer now piezometer has one pipe l shape pipe small diameter now this pipe has one bulb okay glass bulb and glass pipe this pipe this let us assume this is the center okay we need to connect this pipe to the pipe or whatever instrument we need to find temperature at let us assume this is the pipe water is flowing or uh, it is constant state like this now at this point we need to find yeah pressure pa we need to find okay this pipe we had to connect to this bulb glass bulb this center and this center should coincide okay so it should connect like this to the pipe okay whatever water is flowing it will also flow in this liquid in this tube okay with small diameter pipe we had to connect to this bulb at the center to this a point okay this flowing fluid will come in this bulb and because of this capillary effect it will raise in this tube okay so up to some height okay so this height will give the pressure at a point this a and this point is coinciding so we can call it as a point pa we can find by using this height we have one formula p is equal to rho g h where h is this height of the liquid so by using this we can find the pressure value okay we can call it as piezometer as piezometer tube also okay and uh, if you are doing the center lines so here one pipe center line here and this is height because of capillary effect how much rise of liquid inside this tube okay h and this is the transparent tube glass so that we can see the uh, level of liquid so we can measure by using the scale here h value so if you are taking a point pa we can measure by using rho g h where rho is density of this liquid flowing fluid okay it is density and height is h and the g value is 9.81 from this we can find the pa value now i will show you practically how this uh, glass tube is connected to the pipe flowing fluid let us assume in this pipe water is flowing okay i need to find the p value at this point okay so at a point what i am doing means i am taking small tube open tube now i am connecting at a point i am connecting the piezometer like this this is a big pipe water is flowing in it so i need to find the p value inside this pipe okay here at a point so i am connecting one tube open tube at the center of this piezometer so while flowing water water is going here and it is going in this piezometer tube also okay because of capillary effect it will raise the height from it we can find the pressure value 
okay the same liquid here also it is flowing one side of the limb is open to the atmosphere okay and the another side of this is it is a bulb glass bulb so by using this piezometer tube we can find gauge pressure and because it is open to the atmosphere okay negative gauge pressure or vacuum pressure we can't find by using this okay so it is the main disadvantage of this vacuum pressure we can't measure can't be measured by using this piezometer okay the improved version of piezometer is simple manometer 